G'day, it's Jay and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be reviewing the balloon versus the Amazon ripoff. So what does the tool do? So I like to describe it as a hair waffler because pretty much imagine the texture you would get from putting a, your waffle mix in the waffler and how it comes out. That's the sort of texture it creates in your hair. Now, before you quickly jump off this video, just stay with me for a moment. Now, the great thing about this is making your hair into like little waffles underneath is that it creates so much volume. So this tool is a great tool for making texture underneath the top layer of the hair so that you've got volume. Now, you might be thinking, why would I do that instead of teasing? I mean, teasing is a lot more easier. You're not using heat. So one of the main benefits towards crimper slash waffling the hair compared to just giving it a tease is that for people with oily hair or with really thin hair it's a lot harder to hide a tease or sometimes when you tease the oils can um really make the hair slippery and make that tease fall out however when you have a little bit of heat mixed in with a tease or heat by itself it actually sometimes stays better than the teasing so a really great benefit of this compared to the crimper is the crimper only has very little zigzags. So the volume is going to be a little bit less noticeable. However, with something like this, you can make so much volume very quickly. Um, but you just have to be more mindful that it's a lot more obvious your crimps in it. So they're going to have to be under a layer of hair so that it's not really obvious the crimps you have. Now, I wouldn't use this tool as your only styling tool. It's not one to just go in do your whole hair as it will just look like an absolute mess. This is for creating texture like an electric teaser slash hair waffler. So this is just for giving you that instant volume that's going to last all day and not by wrecking your hair as much by pushing it down by teasing. However, it is still heat, so it is going to be a little bit damaging. So let's show you how it works. So for starters, it has a temperature guide, as you can see here, and you can change the temperature. I have like medium to thick hair. I have straightened my hair very roughly before doing this. Um, but I'm just wanting to show you how much texture you can get from just a few of these waffles. And you just hold it down. It's really easy to do. And now you can see it's already got quite a bit of texture and the thinner sections that you take the better it's gonna be so if you're taking really large sections you're not going to get as many of those bumps on top of the bumps which creates all the volume as for the difference between it's gonna pinch it in a bit more between this one and the Amazon one. So I first got the Amazon one as they don't ship this to Australia. So I got the ripoff version and I actually found it to be like better than this one, but the electrical's worse. So I found that it just crimped better, the heats were better, but it broke down and it would make really bad noises. And that was just something I wasn't confident to use. So I really love the tool and I went and bought the expensive one and got it shipped to Australia um, from, I think it was Amazon, but it cost a lot more um, than it does in other countries. Something probably good to note, so I've just partway through this bit of the tutorial, um, my crimper has gone out of its adaptive socket, so I have to re-wait for it to heat up. But pretty much, um, yeah, this is probably one of my biggest downfalls of this tool is it doesn't have an AU cord. And what's really annoying about that is I find most adapters for hair tools or adapters that I get, they just don't seem to fit really well. And especially because you do move the cord when you move the hair, it's very easy to lift it up out of its socket, um, which also isn't the safest thing, which is why um, I now just use this on myself. So guys, a lot of the concerns I had with my Amazon one, I'm actually kind of scared to use it, but just for you guys, I will just show you how it works. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like a light buzz. And as you've probably seen on different ones of my reviews, the buzz really annoys me. Um, it's just, I feel like, I don't like electricals to make noises that 
don't seem natural. Um, that to me is a bit scary. Um, so I haven't used this tool in over a year. Um, I just have it laying around as I really wanted to just, when I get the volume, when I was waiting for the volume to see how much it matched in the size of the different squares. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can hear that buzzing sound, but while it's heating up, I'll even show you just how it does. Same thing, put the hair in. Guys, look at that. That's what it's meant to do. This one did not do that and I tried so many different techniques. Like, look how much better that is. Unbelievable, and if I section it off, so I grabbed a pretty large section. Just underneath here, try it with a thin section. Guys, I'm missing this tool so much. So I think it's pretty clear from my review that I think the Amazon one is superior. Maybe I was just sent a faulty one that didn't work, but I have tried it on other occasions and found it to be really poor. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna grab this top party one that I made. What I would normally do just to ease it in because that top layer is I'd just give that a slight tease. Just to make it all work together well. Guys, look at that volume. Can you see that from just like a few seconds of using this tool? I'm gonna turn it off just cause it's like, I'm so nervous with it on. So in conclusion, I really, I believed in this. I believed in it so well, but I honestly, I mean, maybe I just got a faulty one. This to me did not work at all. I couldn't even see the kinks. I tried so many different things and I have had a few times now thinking back where I'm like, oh, that was weird, that didn't work. And I just like put it away but I have not had any success with this tool at all. However, my Amazon one, I've had a lot of success with. I find it does the job that it's advertised to do. It does it really well. You can see just how much more volume I've got there from just a few quick is it it. However, I really don't like the sound of the electrical cord. It really makes me nervous. I don't feel confident to use it on someone else. I was honestly pretty scared to use it for this tutorial. So my review of this is, I honestly don't think it's worth getting either of these tools. And that's because I think you want the tool to work like this one, but not have the electrical problems of this one. Whereas this one as well, I find that the electronics, it does make a weird buzz as well. And yeah, it just for me is not professional for using it on someone else. It could be a risk to them, which you never want to take, um, as well as to yourself. Um, so at the moment where technology is at with these volume and ripoff version of the volume, I don't think they're worth it. I think wait it out. Maybe if they become more popular, other people will make um, different replicas or make a modified version. But at the moment, the electronics on these are not great and I would not be confident to use them on myself or on others consistently. So I'm really sorry, I hate doing a bad review, but this is also my honest review and I um, want there to be a bit more of both sides on the internet and not just, um, yeah, people who are paid to maybe say something, but yeah, I'm not paid, I'm not anything, I purchased both of these out of my own money. Um, so yeah, this is not sponsored and me saying don't get them is probably also showing it's not sponsored, but yeah, I think, um, definitely in the future, if they make other models outside of this, they might be worth trying, but just be really careful with any tool that does sound bad. I know I showed an electrician and he was like, never risk it with electronics. And I go by that philosophy. So, um, I would say these tools are a bit of your waste to your money. Sorry. The concept is there. And I think instead, if you're wanting something that does a similar job, go and have a look at some deep 
um, zigzag crimpers. So ones that have really deep in grooves. They're going to not be as good for this type of thing of that extreme volume, but they are going to help to give volume. And there's a lot more available out there, so it's easy to get those sizes from brands that have had a lot more people work on the electronics of the tool. So I hope this video was helpful, and I hope to see you on my next review. Bye!